What's up, my name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick video. In this video, I'll show you how to install a Python script as a service on Windows to get it to start up when you boot your computer and run persistently in the background. Now, this isn't the most official method. We're not going to use a separate plugin to get it installed with a special description, special handlers for when it fails, logging errors, etc, etc. We're just going to run the script 24-7 in the background, but without that black command prompt window showing on our screen on boot. The absolute simplest way to accomplish this is by using a piece of software called the Non-Sucking Service Manager. A quite funny name, but it's linked down in the description below. Heading across to this website, then download on the left hand side, you'll be able to click the latest release over here. I'm going to be using the latest featured pre-release as the last full release was a couple of years ago to say the least. This one's at least a bit more recent. I'll click on it to download it and then open up the zip when it's done. Then extract it to somewhere like your desktop and open up the folder. Then Win64 and inside of here we'll be typing in CMD to open a command prompt window in the same folder as nssm.exe. This is the non-sucking service manager and double clicking on it will show you some tips about how to use the program itself. It's a nice little command line tool. So what we need to do is run a command here. nssm space install space followed by a name for our service. In my case, I'll be making this Python script over here, a script that runs 24 seven. I'll call it say, PyTest. You should surround it in quotes, especially if you'd like to use a space in the name. Then the next bit of text inside of quotes once again, should be the install path for Python, all the way down to the exe. For me, it's on my C drive, Python 39, and then python.exe. So that's exactly what I'll enter here. See Python 39, python.exe inside of quotes, followed by a space, and then finally the actual script path itself. So I'll copy the path up here, place it inside of quotes, backslash, followed by the file's name itself, which in my case is d2rss.py. Surrounded in quotes, we're now ready to go ahead and install it. Hit enter, then yes when prompted for admin, and you won't see anything happen. If we go ahead and open up the Windows Services Manager by hitting start and typing in service, then opening services, you'll be able to scroll down to PyTest, the project that we just added here. As you can see, startup type automatic. If we right click and start, the project itself will actually start and it'll be running in the background. Checking my task manager, we'll now also see that Python is running there as well. Of course, it doesn't exactly have a GUI that shows up, any text, it's just gonna run silently in the background. If you have it logging to a log file or anything like that, you should see it logging as it would usually. And of course, but if you boot up your PC, it'll work as expected. But other than this, it's now running nicely in the background. Of course, if you'd like to uninstall it at a future point, head back to the command prompt window, and now we'll type in nssm space remove, followed by the name of the project. So pi test and enter. Upon giving it admin, you'll see remove the service, yes. Click yes, okay, and now it's been removed from services.msc. Hitting F5 to refresh. You can see it's now changed to startup type disabled, but if we were to stop this, it'll now vanish completely. Nice and simple, it'll of course vanish upon the next restart as well, and if the server wasn't running at the time of trying to remove it, it'll remove instantaneously as well. Again, it's not exactly the most official way, you don't get a description, though you can of course research how to use NSSM further. This was just a simple crash course, as I just need to have this project running 24 seven in the background of my computer after it boots up. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.